Welcome to Click View Tips and Tricks. My name is Josh Good. I'm a Solutions Architect here at ClickDeck. Today I'm going to show you how to lease a license. License leasing is the most common method used to take ClickView Desktop Personal Edition and turn it into a fully licensed version of ClickView Desktop. Uh, in order to lease a license, you'll need to do a few things in advance. One, you'll need to download ClickView Desktop. That can be done by going to download.clickview.com. You also need to ensure your server has license leasing enabled and that you have a fully named CAL or client access license on your server. So you can see here I have downloaded Personal Edition and installed it on my, uh, on my local machine. And then I'm going to go over to the uh, Enterprise Management Console and I'm going to click on System Licenses and then Server and I'm going to confirm that I do in fact allow license leasing on this server. And you can see here I do. I'm also going to click on Assign Cals and confirm that the user who I want to lease a license with uh, actually has a, a, a Cal assigned. And it's underneath this little note here that says oh, I have a, a, a Cal assigned on this server. So with all that confirmed, I'm now ready to go ahead and lease a license. So here again, I'm back in uh, ClickView Desktop Personal Edition. You can see it says Personal Edition here. It also says it up in the header, Personal Edition. So to lease the license, I'm going to do what's called an Open in Server. So I can click on File, Open in Server, or alternatively I can simply click Open in Server down here. Once I click on Open in Server, I then just type in my server name. In my case it's called localhost. Your server name will be different. And then I click the Open button. ClickView then goes out to the uh, to my server, and uh, it, it uh, pulls back the uh, various documents that I have access to in the document uh, tree. So you can see here the various documents. In some cases, you may have already released a license at this point. You can see here it says I'm currently leasing a license from localhost. In other cases, you may need to open uh, a ClickView document itself in order to get the license leak to lease to happen. So here I'll just click on this CFO dashboard. That's one I have access to. And I'm going to open up that dashboard uh, using the open in server like we were talking about. So now I've opened up the dashboard. I now have all the functionality as if I access the dashboard on, uh, over the web using an internet browser. I could close that now. I no longer need that. And I can see I'm currently leasing a license from localhost. I can also note that the, uh, the personal edition has come out of the header here. So I've successfully leased a license. This license will be valid for 30 days. And it will renew each time that I open up ClickView Desktop, and ClickView Desktop is able to connect to the server. So it will automatically do that each time I try to op I open up ClickView Desktop. Uh, if you do not um, open ClickView Desktop for 30 days, um, for example, if you're away for a, a, an extended vacation, or uh, for some reason you're unable to connect over the, uh, over the network, then after 30 days you'll need to repeat this process to, uh, to connect to, uh, to lease your license again. That concludes uh, our license leasing uh, quick tips and tricks. Uh, if you do have any uh, additional assistance required, I encourage you to contact your ClickView professional. And also, please use uh, ClickView community as there's lots of good information out there as well. Thank you very much.